Safety tip of the month. The month is April 2011. I'm Patrick Rogers with BSI. And what I'm going to show you is how to read a HMIS chemical label. First thing first, what you need to get is one of those hazardous materials identification system cards. You can find them on the web. Uh, what I used to do is I'd print off a bunch of copies uh, and then laminate them and hand them out to the workers so they're out on the floor in abundance. Uh, you can also purchase these, so uh, check them out. Next thing I want to show you is the uh, HMIS label, which we have off to the left-hand side. Uh, this chemical's name is uh, Bad Stuff, and underneath it you got Health, Flammability, and Reactivity. Health has a number that's right off to the side of it. It indicates that it is a 4. Now, a 4 is a severe hazard. Okay, so the scale works from a 0 to 4 scale, 4 being the highest. If you also look at the flammability, it's got a 2, which is a moderate hazard, and reactivity has got a level of 3, which is a serious hazard. Next thing we want to look at is the personal protection equipment that's required when working with this chemical. Personal protection equipment gets the letter of J. That's usually found on the MSDS. J indicates that this for this chemical, you've got to wear safety goggles, chemical gloves, a chemical apron, and a vapor respirator. That's what's required when you're handling this chemical. That's about it, and I just want you to know I appreciate you uh, listening in, and you can always be safe with BSI, and I'm Patrick Rogers. Thank you.